I have an inclination for the water. I love the space of it. I, I'm also an art collector, but I'm not obliged to buy. I mean, if a masterpiece appears, then I buy because of the masterpiece, because of the piece itself. It's the piece who commands the decision. As a real estate developer, it's the same. I'm not obliged to develop. What uh, drives me is, uh, is the quality of, of the site. I did have two frontages of great value, and the building had to reflect those forces of nature in some way. I did decide to do a very minimalist building. I didn't want some extreme form that competed with these forces. And in doing that, I split the building like splitting the oceans. You know? and, uh, and turned it into two volumes and opened in the middle of it a monumental door or gateway that connected ocean and bay. And that became the centerpiece of the project. I thought actually that space, the void, the emptiness was more important than the object, the form. And that, in fact, maybe the form should fade away and focus on this grand space that symbolizes that linkage. From the very beginning, this team un understand what this project is, is looking for. They are citizens of the world. Uh, they share uh, the sophistication and the aesthetic, the love of creation, the perception of, of the whole. Enzo, Enea, and Piero, they have the history of, of, of the human being from this point of view, and, and they adapt all that to the necessities of the place. One has to find the, the right point of, of expression between the, the traditional history and post-contemporary world. I'm a modernist architect. I never think to do something Traditional. Traditional means I'm never working for the marketing research. I'm working for a private taste. The people, they choose me because I'm in that way quite precise. I'm, I never work with compromises, you know. We like to be coherent and we like to be natural and we like to be not easy. But you have to be human and humanistic and we put inside some simple approach of life. You are to increase the neighborhood, you are to increase the boundaries, you are to increase the community. What we do is we bring another uh, proportion into it with the garden, with the outdoor space that interacts with the place, creating microclimates and using trees as uh, shadow, lightning, and we mix together architecture towards art to create uh, interesting space. The space demands the design. I think that art is integrated in our life <clears throat> and, and it's an important proposition within Oceana. Oceana Bell Harbor I think is a fantastic uh, example of how art uh, can function. And uh, people aren't always able to give uh, sculpture that opportunity to display itself. To be able to design architecture that gives a place, an emotional home for art, where it's really part of the essence of the location. And uh, it's a place where artworks can really interact with residents' daily life. Jeff Koons, he's very profound and clever. He takes into account the history of art. These two pieces actually are uh, revisiting of the history of art. 
but with own postmodern, postcontemporary statement and individual view of, of art. The two works at, uh, at uh, Oceana Bell Harbor, uh, are, they're based in uh, a sense of mythology of uh, Pluto and uh, Presepina. This is really uh, a symbol of the seasons and uh, of uh, the changing of life and the passions of life, the energy uh, of life. But I think both of these works uh, function uh, very emotionally uh, about a sense of opportunity, a uh, chance of transcendence that we have in our lives to exploit the freedom that we have. Everything converges uh, into a unique proposal, a differential proposal. I like to think is not the only place to be, it's the first place to be in Bar Arbor now.